Get a bike. Most bikes will do the job. But don't just buy any old Packraft. Like bikes, Packrafts come in many shapes and sizes for different jobs, different weights, and also different types of rivers. With proper training, they can be used on seas, on estuaries. You can use your bike to ride back to where you started from. You can paddle with mates. You can use it to wild camp on islands. You can pack raft on canals and get to views which no one else can see or experience. My pack raft of choice is the Alpaca Caribou as it's the only bike specific pack raft out on the market. Other pack rafts can be used but make sure you tie them down properly. Here you see four points. The one at the bottom right is designed to take the forks. That's for the chainstay, and that's to fix the forks at the right angle. When you fix your bike in place using the ties in that situation. Packrafts can carry all types of bikes, or the majority anyway. Here I am loading my fat bike just to show you that it can take the weight. The caribou is designed to take large weights on the front because it's raised front end. First strap the forks into place and then make sure the crank and the pedals are in the right position so when you sit in the pack raft you don't have any problems with getting caught inside the boat should anything happen and go wrong. I like to tie the chain up and keep it from banging around but that's just personal preference. I use eight different size and strength ties to fix the bikes into place when traveling. Short ones for the seat stay and longer ones to go around the fork and the handlebars as well. This position locks the handlebars into place to make sure the fork doesn't dip into the water and as you can see they're strong enough to pick the bike up. One thing is if you have pedals with pins in, use a glove over the pedal itself to make sure that it doesn't push against the boat and risk puncturing. You don't want that in the middle of the water. Check everything's all in place before you do the last thing of putting the wheels on. How the pedal is situated, that holds the rear wheel with the drive side down. Cinch them up tight. On the fat bike, the other wheel is always a bit of a problem and in the way. Personally I do this tie a little loose to start with. I then use the very longest strap around the frame and if it won't reach the frame just the brake lever would do the same job. Sometimes you need three hands at this point.
fasten this as tight as you can get it and then tighten up the last one onto the fork as all men will always say that ain't going anywhere and you can lift it up in situ but the most important point about the alpaca is that it's designed for pack rafting it means that it's far enough forwards in a short boat that you can get a full paddle stroke in on either side small pack rafts do tend to hinder you getting it all getting the paddle stroke done and at times two speed you can take it off twice as quick I use eight straps to fix the bike to the pack raft and that is enough for all shapes and sizes of bike. This one's my gravel bike, adventure bike, road bike, doesn't matter but it shows that you can easily convert a bike with drop bars to fit on any pack raft. Using the same ties in the same places you can easily do it. The front wheel is always a bit tricky. This time I fit it between displayed drop handlebars and cinch it up tight. Again, a full paddle stroke is easy to achieve. And now the very elegant side of wrapping up a pack raft while you're out and about rather than being in the garage doing it perfectly. Squeeze as much air out as possible. Easier said than done when it's blowing a gale or it's throwing down with rain. And then rolled it up ready to go on the bike getting the last of the air out making sure nothing's trapped this way was taught to me by Andy from Backcountry Scotland squeeze out all the air you can, kneel on it Squeeze out the last of the air and then screw on the little cap. When filming I couldn't get the thread quite right but I wasn't going to refilm it all. And then this Xbed dry bag has got three compression straps on the side. I found it the perfect size the bike pack rafting. And next is how to fit it onto the bike. The paddle comes in four pieces, which is, makes it easier to fit onto the handlebars. The two middle sections, I use two of the shorter straps, fasten them tight together, tucking away any loose ends so it doesn't catch in the wheel. 
using a bike packing harness on the front. I put the dry bag with the boat inside. I then clip the middle part of the oars in place or paddles in place and tighten it up as tight as it will go always ensuring if you have suspension underneath that it won't hit the bottom of the bag or the paddle when the suspension compresses. Tighten any loose ends up and then use two longer straps around the handlebars. This is another job where you need three hands. And then put the paddle ends in front, like so. Tighten everything up. Have one last look around on the floor. Make sure the four straps that you didn't use to fix it onto the bike aren't left behind. Make sure everything's all leveled up, nice and tight, and away you go. I hope that's some help. And for information, you'll see on there about the pack raft, the bikes, and also any training courses.